Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be wiring this fire alarm panel or actually hardwiring it. So currently the way it gets power is I have it wired to Romex and everything and then it runs down to the switch, which is very not code compliant. It's very unprofessional. I don't really like it. It was just kind of a temporary thing because when I first put this panel up, I didn't really expect it to actually become a real system. But now that it's an actual system, I don't really like that. So today I'm going to be hardwiring it. So how I'm planning to get power to this panel is I'm going to branch off of the switch. Obviously, when I turn off the switch, there's going to be no power coming out, but um, I'm going to branch off of this cable going into the switch, um, which is just 120 volts AC uninterrupted. The first thing you should always do when you're working with uh, any electricity is turn off the power if you can. So you can see now there is no power in this room. Um, I can still kind of see because there's uh, emergency lighting, but... Um, it's going to get a little dark. So I have my wire from the panel. It's this one right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and clip these two and then splice them in a box. This is the box I chose. It's just one of those nail and plastic boxes. I like to use metal boxes like that one right there. However, metal boxes are um, very expensive now. And I only use metal boxes for things that I'm going to be messing around with a lot like pull stations, uh, alarms and things like that. So as you know, with these boxes, you basically just like grab something and then nail them into the side of a stud. All right, so I have the box mounted and the wire pulled. So this is the wire going to the panel and then this is just uh, straight power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice all the neutrals and grounds and all that together. Then I'm going to splice these two hots together and then I'm going to wire those two to the switch so that when the switch is connected and disconnected, um, it turns the panel on and off. All right, so I have my cable spliced. You can see I actually did add just a pigtail here just so I can connect it to the switch easier. So now I just have to tuck the wires back and then connect these uh, three cables to the switch. So I've gone ahead and wired it. I don't backstab. I always use the little hooks on the terminal screws. Um, a lot of people, when they're done with wiring outlets and things like that, they like to wrap the... Uh, you know, device and electrical tape um, screws. I don't do that unless I'm working with a metal box. And in this case, because it is a plastic box, uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much, but it doesn't hurt to do that if you're not comfortable. All right, so I've gone ahead and finished everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the circuit break breaker. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, I didn't die. So first of all, the lights do work. And if I flip this switch, the panel should turn on. It sure does. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll have to put the cover plates on back later, but for now, see you later.